What do you think? Pinch me. Pinch me. Um, no. Uh, th this team is a, is a special team. And uh, I, I just really have no other words that I was just entirely proud of, of the way they handled themselves. We lost that first game and dug ourselves into a little bit of a hole. And um, yeah, I mean, I used the word yesterday. It was just the resiliency that, that these guys showed. Um, and, and to come out and get a quick start today and, um, and then hang on for dear life because those guys gave us everything they had. Um, what a great crowd team that. I mean, I'm extremely proud of our team, but man, that's a, that's a heck of a team that we, that we just won our best of three series against. What happened on that lap shot? Oh, I mean, the last one I had just threw it with my one before it, and, and uh, yeah, we came down the ice, we thought it was on the nose, and it kind of just kept backing up and stayed just enough. And uh, that's, that's it. I mean, I had, uh, they, you know, my last one in eight there that was a measurement. It actually looked, to me, it looked like it was us before they measured it, and that thing was uh, by millimeters. So um, I guess it, it can happen. Any, We'll take it anywhere we need. You've uh, been to the Olympics before. What makes this one different? You know, this one actually feels a little bit more like the first one because uh, it's kind of a long journey with, with the common group. Um, the last two Olympics that I went to, our teams kind of finally, they were together a little bit but kind of came together the last, you know, year. And uh, in this group, um, from basically from the time the last Olympic cycle ended, uh, we came together and, uh, and did it all together as a team, and that makes this one um, extra special and, uh, and also extra exciting to get there because I think it's the most prepared I've, team I've ever been a part of uh, heading to the Olympics. So what? does this one also feel more special just given the fact that, that not all of you were immediately invited to HPP, that you had to, you, you had a deal where you had to really prove your, your work? Um, I don't think so. I think, uh, I think this one means a little bit different thing to me because, um, you know, I was, I, I'd be the first to say it. I mean, you look at me now, I'm 30 pounds lighter than I was when we were in um, and and they wanted athletes and uh, and it really was just a just a wake up call for me to say you know what if if this is going to be something that I want to do I got to become an athlete I got I got to become more of an athlete and uh, and to uh, to do that and to again work work together with with a group of people with a common goal is just a special. Deal. How good does that feel to be going to South Korea as more of an athlete this time? Yeah, I honestly I mean I've always felt like an athlete, but to to be, um, you know, in the, in the place we are right now, in the place I am physically, is, uh, um, I'm, I'm just excited to get over there. What do you need to do over the next day, whatever days, to put yourself in contention for that? Um, you know, we just have to, you know, our team, our team, basically after the first season together, we knew that we were staying together all the way through, through this Olympic cycle, and uh, and our goal is to get to the Olympic trials and win the Olympic trials, and then we knew that. Should we win the Olympic trials, that we're going to have to regroup and uh, and just remap out the next 80, 83 days. So when we get to Pyeongchang, that we're getting back here and ready to peak and uh, and to put our best performance on. How important was it for you guys to get that three on the board right away and, and get that fast start? Oh, incredibly, incredibly good. And uh, you know, it was even two on the board in the first end. Um, we knew that was going to put an incredible amount of pressure on those guys. But again. Um, they they took that and I mean he Keith made an incredible shot to end the second end to, to get his two points. And, you know, had, I made my last one a little bit better. He probably wouldn't have had it there, but um, yeah. And then it was just I mean pretty similar to the to the things you saw the last two days of um, either team not budging an inch and a lot of singles because it was just an incredibly tightly played game. Is the history of this meaningful to you, John, being the first guy to, to be on four Olympic curling teams from the U.S.? I mean, yeah, yes and no. Um, I, I just, for me, it's it's more of, you know, I really laid in bed after, you know, after the first game that we lost, and was like, you know what, this is this is what I'm choosing to do in my life is to be dedicate my life to curling. I don't have a you know, I don't have a full-time job. I work at Exporting Goods in their Contenders program, but that's not my career. I mean, curling essentially is my career. So, um, to to go down without a fight um, in that circumstance is just something um, that I would never think about doing. Because I, I get we've, my family, my I mean, my my wife, my mom, my dad, um, all my family and friends put so much into to make this possible to travel as much as we travel and, uh, um, and you just got to think about that at times like 
like this and, and this is more than just about me and these five guys. So yesterday you said that this week when you guys had eaten a meal together as a team in the late afternoon mm. or early evening, you would come out and win. Did you do that today? <laughs> no, no, of course we did. <laughs> yeah, we actually did. We did a, we a nice chicken taco bowl and uh, and everybody was uh, fueled up and ready to go. We, yeah, I'd, I'd been there twice and knew what these guys hadn't, uh, what parts they hadn't seen, so I was a pretty good tour guide for them. Uh, you talked about the crowd tonight. You had a big cheering section out there. Would that, uh, that help? It always helps. Um, you know, they, they, after the first game, didn't weren't happy with their performance. They, they said, you know what? Um, we're gonna come together as one giant crowd, and we're gonna be together and be with you and be the loudest people in here. And uh, and and when you feel your your family and friends there with you, it's uh, it it always gives you that little extra edge. Out of yes. No distractions. They said a couple of things that looked like made you guys uh, crack up at times. Well, that's you know that's the nature of the beast is to uh, to make sure that we remember to just. You know, to, to keep the humor and, uh, and really enjoy the experience.